everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Priscilla Nieto for all of you who don't know and today I'm going to be giving you guys a room tour. This is just my bedroom in my little apartment that I have. I've cleaned it up and I've you know made it look really nice so that I can show you guys where I film, where I sleep, where I do the majority of my work for YouTube and things like that. So if you like this type of video please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that post notification bell so you can always be notified of the videos that I post and let's get into it. So this is an overview of my whole entire bedroom. Yes, I know the lighting's kind of in and out because of the window, so I apologize for that. Yep, and there's a really nice sticky fly trap because uh, we had a fly problem. They just came in and multiplied like crazy. And yes, here is our um, internet box. Very, very nice. Some sandals on the floor. I haven't vacuumed yet. That's the last thing I have to do. But yeah, here's some cleaning supplies. Here's the countertops. Here's the big mirror. And this is typically where I keep, like, the items that I use daily. So mouthwash, toothpaste, um, lotions, dry shampoo, my um, shower caps, some um, hair things, stuff like that. And then if we go into this drawer... We just have some more essentials. There's my husband's toothbrush and toothpaste, some razors, some more of these like little hair ties that look like a phone cord, stuff like that. And then if you go into this drawer, this is my makeup drawer. So I have so many different things. I have my foundations, blush brushes, um, eyeshadow palettes, things like that. So this is where all of my makeup stays. Um, it usually does look more um, uniformed and nice when I clean it up, but typically this is how it looks on a daily when I'm doing my makeup. I just have everything in this little drawer. And then if you come over here, this is my ironing board that my grandmother actually gave us for a wedding gift. She wanted us to have an ironing board. And please excuse that toilet paper over there. Um, I'm not sure what it's doing there. Sometimes we use it as tissues or something like that. So that's why that's there. We've got... My lovely shoes right there next to my charger, and these are just some sandals that I wear to church, um, some other shoes. Here's some blankets that, you know, we use occasionally for the couch or something, but I like to put it in the bedroom just so that it's not in the way or anything crazy. Um, here's just a big tub of my um, laundry detergent that we use every week when we do laundry my husband and I and if you're at all curious I have very sensitive skin and this is the free and clear laundry detergent from up and up um, that you can find at Target very inexpensive for the amount you get I think I paid like nine dollars for that and here's just some papers some things that I really just need to file and get in a better place yep and these are just some miscellaneous things my key just a little um, this actually came to be with a, um, like a really nice washcloth and towel set for, from, um, the wedding. It was a wedding gift, and I just used it for miscellaneous undergarments, socks, things like that. This is just a pile of my husband's socks right there. And then this normally stays in our closet the suitcase but I have it there just because we came back from vacation like two months ago and I didn't really put it back in the closet I just stuck it in this little corner because I thought it would look really nice and just be something that would be you know not too in the way of things and then if you look here Yes, we do have a dog, our first baby, and I'm sorry if the camera was out of focus before. Sometimes my phone does that, but this is where our beagle copper, he likes to stay in this bed. Um, We don't let him up on the big bed because we just like to keep that nice and dog hair free, but that's why we have this little um 
But, and if you actually don't know, um, our friend Madison that you can see in a vlog from when we went to the mall here in Texas, um, she actually gifted us that dog bed when she was here, so thank you to her. That was such a sweet gift, and I mean, Copper loves it. This is like his space. Sometimes we'll even take it out to the living room if we're chilling there and we don't want him on the couch. He'll just lay on his bed all day long if we let him. And of course, this is our vacuum. It's nothing too special. It just has a hardwood and carpet setting, so that's really nice. Nothing too fancy. Um, yes, we have all of our cords and stuff for the internet and things for the apartment. So that's that. Um, excuse the fly swatter, but as I mentioned before with the fly trap, we do have um, a little bit of a fly problem that's getting better with cleaning and just taking care of things. But that is what we have for our... Um, just, you know, as a generic fly swatter. I don't really like the metal fly swatters because I feel like they bend and get out of shape really easy. So the plastic ones just do the job and they're literally like less than a dollar at HEB. And then please excuse all of this. This is my husband's little corner. He He's on this side of the room. I'm on that side of the room. But this is my husband's stuff. It's all over the place. He's kind of messy with it, but it works for now. And eventually we do want to get some dressers and things like that to actually put our clothes and stuff in. But for right now, this is what we're working with. And it it's fine in my opinion. And of course, this is our comforter set that we got from Walmart. Very inexpensive. I think it was like 30 bucks. And it's it's very neutral and really nice for a married couple because it's not too feminine, but it's not too manly. It's like right in the middle, and I really do enjoy it. And I got some miscellaneous stuff, some things that are a part of my work uniform, my little backpacks that I got from Disneyland um, a few weeks ago. This is my blow dryer that I use on the daily, and sorry about this, it's trash. It's um, a lens wipe cleaner that I use every single day to clean my eyeglasses. And uh, there's my husband's lovely box cutter from work. <laughs> so that's pretty interesting. And then this is the closet. It's just a two-part closet. Nothing too special. And again, sorry for the fly trap, but got to be realistic about the joys of being in the hot Texas heat. I mean, flies are just a... And then over here, you got the closet space. This is not trash, but just things that we don't have the space for. We got some board games that my husband took with him when he moved. And this is our laundry basket full of dirty, dirty clothes. This is all of our clean clothes. We just like to um put them up really nice and neat. And since I don't have any sort of like um towel rack or anything in the bathroom, I just put my towel there so that it hangs and dries and doesn't stay in a clump and get moldy and stay wet. And then this is some pillows from our wedding. If you don't know, I'm Hispanic and in Hispanic weddings, um, there's traditions that we do with pillows. And so those are th the things that we um, kept from it. And then these are my husband's pants. Um, we, I actually ran out of hangers for the closet. So I was just like, let me just stack his pants up there. We got some more of my husband's things. Um, most of the, on top of the closet is my husband's stuff. So there's that side. And then you move over to this side and you got more dirty clothes, but then you got more suitcases from when I moved. My husband's boots that he wore um, in our wedding. And then just more of my suitcases. And yes, that's my lovely wedding dress fringing out of that. I really do need to get my wedding dress put in a better position. Um, sorry, I have some feminine products on my um, suitcase, so this is like super realistic about what I keep in the bedroom. Um, a lot of that is from the wedding, from my um, dress and stuff, so there's that. There's some shoes that don't even fit. I should probably return them at some point. Yeah, that's my husband's gun case. If you don't know, being from Alaska, we do. We're, we are a gun-friendly couple. Like, we definitely do enjoy our self-defense. Um, there you go. And then, yes, this is a bra that I um, got from Kohl's a while ago. So there's that. I do like to hang them up and not leave them just thrown around the room. Um, here's a lot of my other pants and clothes. Um, if you want me to do, like, 
like um, a sweater haul or something of how I um, put together my outfits or what I wear on a daily basis. And I can definitely do that for you guys um, if you're into that sort of thing. And then the last thing I'm going to show you is the bathroom. The bathroom's not too fancy. It's actually kind of weird. This is my first apartment, so bear with me. Um, this is basically just a cabinet that we keep with a lot of stuff. Um, up top is really, I don't think you're going to be able to see it that well, but that's just my husband's stuff. And then some empty shelves. We got a towel that I should really throw in the dirty laundry pile, um, some trash on the floor that I need to clean up, so don't mind that. Just some things that I use on the daily, um, just some shaving gel, washes, things like that. The mason jars for how I rinse out my razor when I shave. Here's my back brush, and then this is weird. There's this little towel rack in the shower, which I don't think is very practical, but it is there. This is the washcloth I use with my body wash to get it all foamy. Um, this is a soap my husband uses from Irish Spring. And yeah, just, this is a shower curtain and nothing too fancy, just a Walmart shower curtain. And then here, yes, we do have some, a, a cup and a, um, flea bath shampoo because in Texas fleas are rampant so are ticks and even though Copper's never had any I like to be preventative and just give him a flea bath about once a month so there's that and yeah this is the whole bathroom and pretty much just the whole um, bedroom guys I really hope that you enjoyed and I you know, this is what I'm working with. I mean, it's not the biggest space ever, but for what I need and for what's going on, this is really good, actually. And sorry if the lighting keeps fluctuating. It's the window. I don't have curtains, so bear with me. We do have blinds, but that's about it. But yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you soon in another one. Bye, guys.